Looky, looky. Yeah. My mom lost. She had the 20. No, man. No, she lost. She's probably had 30 now, though. All right, guys. This is what I was talking about. Replacing them bolts. We went to Pennsylvania one time to fix the truck because we didn't know this and they got us so we went up there and fixed the truck because we had worked on it last. Um, we drove all the way out there. We're there for a few days, fixed the guy's truck, got it back on the road. This is very important. The fuel pump's right there. The crank gear's right there. The fuel idler gear. This is the piece that goes inside, and it has a shim that goes behind it. And this is a gear. <laughs> this is what happens, guys. They break every time. There's a service bulletin that says replace them. Um, we're going to get back with the shop that did the work. See if they're going to fix it. But you can tell that this, this front structure is brand new. It's kind of bad. It's brand new front structure. See what they're going to do about it. Because now we got to have a whole other front gear housing. Hopefully the bolt holes are going to be fine. We're going to extract the bolts out and go from there. This is important too. You have to back this off to get these gears along and pull all these gears. If not, this whole gear is going to jump and it's going to come apart. Don't forget to tighten that back up. They actually forgot to do that here. And eventually it won't turn out good. But like I said, this was just done. So it hasn't had time to mess anything up. Um, I've actually had to pull the front, out, or front cover back off to do it because I forgot. Uh, so make sure you do not forget how to do that. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll find a gear that's jumped out and I'll show you. Alright, so this is what happens if the gear is taken off improperly. Just comes apart. All the springs pop out. It's a mess. And you have to turn it. You can put it back together. It's just hard. But you have to turn it. Hold the tension. Start the bolts. But what this does is this sits on here like this. Whenever you're doing your timing, you want the gears to line up. Whenever you tighten that bolt back up, <clears throat> excuse me, it offsets it just a little bit, just enough to put tension on it. So whenever you're doing the timing or anything, you gotta make sure they're all lined up. And um, that's the only way to get the backlash set right. So, but like I said, we're gonna give them a call. See what they say. Also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. He took the truck back whenever he left. Uh, the oil pressure was not right. He took it back to him, gave him opportunity to try to fix it, and they didn't fix it. So he got it towed here. So this being said, be careful where you take your truck. Not everybody's perfect, but stuff does happen. You learn from your mistakes. Hopefully they'll make it right for this guy. If not, we'll, we'll help him out. Um, that's what we're here for. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on right now. We're slammed. Uh, I'm sure if y'all call, sisters sometimes don't answer. Don't get frustrated. Email me if you have to. I try to get on my email so I can check everything out. Sometimes it don't happen, but like I said, we're so busy. I mean, we got the inside of the shop's full, outside the shop's full, and the yard's full. Uh, we're very blessed. We're trying to get y'all as quick as we can, but it takes time. We're going to make sure everything's done right the first time so we don't have to do it again. If you've asked people that have been here before, they'll tell you the same thing. We always go the extra mile. Um, just the little things is what what uh, helps a company out. So we're growing, thank God. So if we get more people, some of y'all out here want a job, hey, we'll be able to get more work in. We'll return more work. So that's that's our goal this year. Um, last year we had a pretty good year. This year we wanna do more. We'll see how it goes. If not, can't find nobody. Um, we're still gonna open up the shop next door because it's what I wanna do. 
So my dad's gonna make sure it happens. We got everything straightened out for the warranty on our engines. So if you do need an engine, if y'all can email me your CPL, what kind of build you're looking for, I can I can go ahead and the ones that want it first, I can have your motors or engines built first. Um, like I said, just send me an email, CPL, uh, engine serial number. I'll see if we have a block and everything here. Um, we're gonna do different types of builds. We're not just gonna do, we are gonna do standard builds, um, just like an in frame, but it'll be the out. And then we're gonna have some performance ones and then we're gonna have some H2G custom ones. So we got big things coming, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna do just fine. Stressful, but um, it's gonna happen. It's been, we've been trying to get it working for a while now, uh, back before I even had a thousand subscribers. So it ain't that we're pushing it off. It's just, we gotta have help here, hopefully before I move there. So we figured the new year, new start, we get somebody. If you're an engine builder, that's a plus. We need another engine builder. I'm the only one right now. So I don't know how that goes. Um, like I said, if you want one, email me. I'll see what we can do. I'll see if we have something that matches. If we do, I can go ahead and build it and uh, send it wherever y'all want to send it. Uh, we'll send it on a crate and y'all just send your core back on the crate and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Also, if you're in the Georgia area, looking for a job, our new shop is about to start rolling. We need somebody here. Um, a lot of experience. You can email me if you're looking for a job. We're in Griffin, Georgia. So, like I said, there's a big opportunity. If you don't know much and you're willing to learn, we're willing to teach you. Uh, Y'all have seen everybody at our shop that started out not knowing nothing. Now they know something. But that's an end frame. Got that going. This right here, just had to do the front gear housing, rods and mains. It's about to be gone. We'll jump back over there. It's hard. I can't leave the shop and go next door without the shop steadily making money. So, um, like I said, if y'all looking for a job, send me an email. If you want to move down here, cool. Just let us.